Yes, Martin, we are in the Jorvik Viking Centre, one of York's biggest tourist attractions, of course. Another flood victim in this city, unfortunately. And that is the picture that we've seen across York through the course of the day. People finally being, get, being able to get back into their properties, into their businesses. Often some very sad sights, people trying to work out how they go about clearing out, but many people pitching in and helping out. This museum, of course, will be familiar to many people who would have visited. 400,000 people visit every year. Uh, Sarah Maltby is from the centre. Sarah, you've been hit. You've got a lot of water in, in here. We're quite low down in this building, aren't we? Uh, when did this start to come in for you? Uh, well, it was Sunday. Sunday when we sort of first noticed because we've got an overflow from the FOSS uh, in our back delivery yard and basically it started sort of pouring down there. We built a barrier at that point, which was very lucky, and then uh, that held back the water for quite a number of hours actually. But then overnight on the Sunday, it started coming up through the floors, through the walls, and uh, we ended up Monday morning with between half a metre, metre and a half, in the attraction because, as you say, it's underground and it's at a level and, yes, we're now full of water. Now, this attraction, for those of you who haven't been here, recreates York as it was in Viking times. Let's uh, walk around the uh, carousel here. This is uh, how people get around this attraction. They get into these uh, capsules and uh, have an audio tour. They get the smells of what it was like in Viking times in York. But as you can see just through here, uh, the water is just right there it's about four foot deep or so and this extends throughout the basement uh, of this attraction uh, sarah how does it feel uh seeing all this uh <laughs> it's hard to put it into words i must admit it's 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 uh, quite depressing i would say um you know it's it's a mess isn't it it's <laughs> yeah, uh, and it's going to take some work to get it back to um where we were um so yeah it's 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 not a great sight is it and the reality is that this is going to probably have to be stripped out, isn't it? And you'll, you'll have to start again with the attraction. You've got people booked in for, for the new year. Yeah, yeah, we have. We've got schools, we've got visit, you know, international visitors, visitors from around here, um, but all booked in, who we're getting in touch with now. And uh, But we are not going to be open, obviously. We, we can... Uh, send people to our other attractions. It's not Jorvik, but uh, we can do that. Uh, a lot of schools obviously come to us every year, and we've got loads of schools booked in for the new year. So we'll try and do something for them. We'll try and do something different, something Viking-related for them. You know, we have the resources here to do something somewhere else, perhaps. But, you know, we've got a long road ahead of us, I think, to get this back to where it was. And just a final thought, perhaps, your city... Other cities in the north, other towns, other villages. This is so widespread, this batch mm -hmm. of flooding, isn't it? How do you try and kind of make sense of what's happened in the last few days? Well, it's, it's really hard, isn't it? I mean, you know, we've never seen anything of this scale anyway, you know, with the FOSS going as well as the ooze. Yes, we're used to the ooze bursting its banks virtually every year uh, and the Derwent as well around here. You know, we're used to that, but nothing on this scale. And, and, you know, to see the people and the houses and, you know, we've got loads of members of staff that have been affected. Obviously, they've been evacuated and trying to help them and, and be supportive as well. It's, it's just unbelievable, really. OK, so we'll leave it there, but thank you very much for joining us and letting us in to have a look at uh, the damage inside here. And as I say, much of it will have to be stripped out. The good news amongst all this is that the river levels in York are dropping today. It's been quite significant, and part of that is down to the fact that the FOSS barrier, this key bit of infrastructure on the river network that had been out of action, uh, has now uh, started to come back online. Four of the eight pumps there are working again, the Environment Agency have told us, which of course is good news. What's not so good is this next weather system that is due to come into the north of England, to Northern Ireland, to North Wales, southern parts of Scotland over the course of tonight. Storm Frank, as it is called, it is again going to bring heavy winds and also heavy rain to parts of the UK that already have had their fill of flooding over the past month or so, Martin.